turn milk into yogurt. And this process is fermentation, and it's a type of fermentation called lactic acid fermentation. And this is a process that occurs after glycolysis when no oxygen is present. And let's take a look at the ingredients you're going to use to turn milk into yogurt. So first you're going to need um, one teaspoon of white sugar to feed the live bacteria. And you need a quart of milk, which is half of this bottle. And you can use any type of milk, such as fat-free or 2% fat or fat or anything else. And then you need two tablespoons of actual yogurt because um, you need the live culture in the yogurt to be put in the milk so you can make more yogurt because of the bacteria. The two main types of bacteria that will be used is called Streptococcus thermophilus and, and Lactobacillus vulgarius. Okay, so the first step is you want to heat the milk to, a, to 85 degrees Celsius or 185 degree Fahrenheit. And um, you can measure how, the temperature by using a thermometer, but if you don't have a thermometer, you can just tell when it's ready when the milk starts to froth, which basically means foam. And you want to stir it occasionally. Okay, so now that the milk is ready, we're going to take it and put it in a 43 degree Celsius or 110 degree Fahrenheit cold water bath to cool it. And we're going to show you guys this. So we're going to put it in our cold water bath and this is our water bath. It used to have ice in it but I don't think you guys can see it anymore. And we're going to stir it occasionally and let it sit there. Okay, so while we're waiting for the milk to cool down, we're going to take the starter yogurt and warm it to room temperature. And we're also going to add one teaspoon of white sugar to feed the live bacteria. And we're going to stir it. Okay, so now that the milk has cooled, we're going to take two tablespoons of the starter yogurt and put it into the milk so that the bacteria can make lactic acid. And instead of starter yogurt, we could have also used um, dried, freeze dried bacteria. But since we're not scientists and we don't have that, we're just going to use the bacteria in starter yogurt. And you want to stir it. Next, we're going to take the mixture and pour it into a clean container. Next, we're going to allow the yogurt to incubate. Keeping the uh, yogurt warm will encourage bacterial growth, so we're going to keep it at 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to put this over it so it's even more warm, and we're going to put it in the oven with the pilot light and let it sit there for 7 hours. Since it's been seven hours, we're going to take it out and see what it looks like. Let's take a look.